we're going to talk about how you can uh, speed up your uh, digital marketing. And with me are uh, Jeremy Curtin uh, from the director of Digital uh, Telenet, Mike Hoogveld from the Holland Consultancy Group, and Luc Bomans, business developer consultant uh, for IDA Media Foundry. Welcome, uh, gentlemen. Uh, really glad that you're here to share knowledge. Um, what I'm wondering, uh, Jeremy, is that uh, we all here in this building and on the live stream are aware of the needs of digital marketing and agile digital marketing. Um, but something has changed because it used to be just for the marketing department or maybe the internet department. But right now it's something that should be, as I've learned today, ingrained in your whole organization. Um, how do you convince people within your organization from the importance of, of the importance of digital marketing? I think one of the key features within uh, any kind of transformational program, whether it be digital or otherwise, is to ensure that you have a wide uh, scope with the different stakeholders. Uh, one of the things that facilitated that for us was moving from a project, uh, waterfall project management mm -hmm. uh, approach to take a much more agile marketing approach where we had incremental deliveries um, that involved uh, stakeholders from all the different departments as their operational areas were impacted by the activities that we were undertaking. And what that created was a much more engaged audience, a much more engaged senior management, mm -hmm. and a common vision and goal to work towards. And how did you share that new knowledge from that engaged audience? Did you make reports, or did you show focus more on analytics? Or? I think, what, well, it's not I think. What we did was we actually had a bit of a road show on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, depending on the tempo of the transformation that we were working on at that okay. particular time. And we actually pulled the people in to have the conversation. That way we were able to shift any type of um, requirements that had altered or shifted since the last time we met. So right. that no matter what we were delivering from an incremental perspective, we were always still relevant to the business. Okay, okay. Uh, before we continue, uh, Mike, I just want to know, um, gaining customer information is of course really important. Uh, people are watching now and they're thinking, should more, I should uh, know more what my uh, customers are saying. How, how are you setting up such an infrastructure? What should you pay attention to? Well, I think most important that uh, it starts with curiosity. So um, uh, thinking in logic of what should I know of my customer to improve my uh, uh, experiences for him. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, reason of well, what what are the sources I can use to uh, um, to, to know that, and um, most of the times it, it isn't very difficult to uh, to get it organized. It's more of the discipline and the curiosity you should have in uh, um, in organizing that uh, on a weekly basis or perhaps a daily basis. Um, you listen to your customers, mm -hmm. and um, and the rest is well, uh, technology and uh, and support from uh, uh, from people in your organization. And and Luke, when you're setting up such an infrastructure, how do you um, how do you value like quantitative information, like the uh, the analytics from from customers, so the the tools they are using and, and how much they are using it, number of views, etc. How do you combine that with like the qualitative feedback of customers? Yeah, one important thing uh, within Telenet, I think, is that they had four different platforms in the beginning, and now they are migrating everything to one platform, to Adobe Experience Manager, together with Adobe Marketing Cloud, and now they can follow the complete journey over all those platforms in a much better way, and also target people much better by going to that uh, centralized uh, platform now. That's one of the key things uh, within uh, the Telenet uh, setup like it is building up now. Okay, so a centralized platform is really yep. important. Yep. Before we continue, let's have a look at an expert uh, panel video. Uh, we keep showing uh, these videos of expert panels uh, and they answer statements and we can talk about them further. Let's have a look. Best of breed or best of suite really depends on your market scale, on your budget, and on your ability and wish to design and interact across multiple channels on a single platform. Uh, the key driver in decision making um, when you choose for best of breed or best of suite is uh, the, the width and the depth of the functionality of the suite that you need. If you need a few functionalities and you really, really need it in depth, uh, we should opt for a best of breed approach, but when you need the full stack, uh, you should opt for the best of suite. 
Uh, welcome back. Uh, Jeremy, we just talked about uh, the, the need of setting up an agile uh, marketing uh, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. If you're collecting the tools to organize such a new strategy, what should you pay attention to? I think one of the things that's extremely important is, is consistency of definition. You know, there's a lot of platforms that do a lot of different things. Some of them do them extremely well. But the transportability of that data across multiple vendors, if you will, or multiple different tools uh, can cause conflict on how you're defining and aligning the, the results that you're getting and what the best answers are. Um, so what we decided to do is we actually took a full suite approach mm -hmm. so that we had a consistent data structure, we had a consistent message and consistent view of what the customers were doing. Okay, so, and is that something you would recommend to other companies or is it just really depends on? I think it really depends on the level of maturity mm -hmm. uh, of the organization itself and the level of expertise that you have in-house on whether you can properly leverage a suite or whether or not looking at one particular activity deserves its own uh, tooling with potentially support from external to the, to the company itself. Right, and that's an interesting point. Uh, Luke, I wonder, um, you should have uh, uh, marketing uh, intelligence in-house as well, but there are also a lot of agencies here who are offering their services. How should you combine those two? Should you focus more on in-house creativity now, or what, how, what do you think? Uh, within Telenet, it's indeed a combination. They have a strong internal team, and they insource uh, expertise from, from uh, externally. So and what would be the role of the internal team? The internal team is uh, setting out the big uh, direction and also sometimes are, are experts in their domain. So for Adobe Analytics, for example, they have a real Adobe Analytics expert in-house. For Adobe Experience Manager, the content management part, uh, we delivered the, the expertise on that specific domain, but they had all functional people, uh, infrastructure people, all those were in place within Telenet. It was a very good uh, working relationship we had with uh, Telenet uh, in this project. Okay. Mike, you just published a book, right? Or about to publish? I'm about to publish. Okay, when yeah. will it be released? Uh, it will be released in March. It's okay. on Agile Management. Oh, you're still writing it? Yeah. And yeah. it's called The Age of Agile. Can you, can you already share some key findings with us? We'll still buy the book, don't worry, but no. just yeah. to... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, most importantly, uh, you can clearly see that uh, volatility in markets is uh, increasing. So a lot of organizations are struggling with how to adapt to changes in uh, behavior of competitors and of customers. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you see is that uh, some companies are really successful uh, with implementing an agile way of working um, by uh, forming multidisciplinary teams, um, uh, working uh, in the same physical spot uh, with very visual uh, way of working in uh, hand and brown papers, etc. Mm -hmm. um, and on a very uh, short notice, so sprints of uh, one, two, three weeks uh, to, um, to really have their, their improvements uh, in customer experience. And for instance, uh, a large organization such as ING is now right. transforming uh, its whole headquarters in the Netherlands uh, towards an agile organization. And that's really spectacular. And your book could serve as a handbook. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it goes into uh, the theory uh, behind agility mm -hmm. and uh, then in the second part it focuses on, well, how do you implement that in a very practical, concrete way? What are okay. the toolings, uh, the processes, etc.? And in March? In March, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, gentlemen, for, for sharing uh, your knowledge about uh, setting up an agile marketing uh, infrastructure. <laughs>